Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Frank Turner. Here's a look at the top stories we're following for you today. Drivers taking their first trips over the new temporary M30 bridge in Edenville. It's a major step in mid-Michigan's flood recovery. The original bridge washed away during last year's historic flooding. Edenville and Tobacco Townships hosting a ceremony before the barricades came down. One year after the coronavirus pandemic started in Michigan, numbers confirmed 2020 the deadliest year in our state's history. Deaths increasing by 17.9% since last year. It was the largest increase since the 1918 flu pandemic. More than 115,000 people died. COVID has been linked to nearly 17,000 of those deaths. Saginaw County begins vaccinating residents 50 and older this weekend. Those living in 10 key areas identified as socially vulnerable by the state are eligible. Approved patients getting an appointment this Saturday or next at one of the Saginaw locations. STARS offering free rides to the clinics listed on your screen. Patients will get second doses at the same location four weeks later. To register for the vaccine and learn more about the process, head to the hot link section at WNEM.com. Flint Community Schools planning a return to in-person learning. School board members last night deciding pre-K through third grade will return March 15th and fourth through 12th grade will return a week later. It'll be a hybrid model with staggered days based on last names. There will be no in-person class on Wednesdays. And now here's Matthew with your forecast. Hey, thank you, Frank. Happy Thursday afternoon to you, Mid-Michigan. It was a rainy start today, but still mild, but windy as well. And those winds are going to continue with this cold front on the First Horn 5 Sky Tracker as it moves through the area uh, throughout our afternoon hours today. But we'll at least see a clearing as that cold front makes its way through. So I'll show you on the First Horn 5 hour by hour that as we go through our afternoon and towards dinner time, we're looking at plenty of blue skies, plenty of sun, those clouds making their way out and then in the overnight the model is suggesting a little bit of cloud coverage there along I-69 and in the southern portion of the thumb but overall we're still looking at a mostly clear uh, night a cloudless night tonight and that's the case for your morning drive tomorrow as well and for lunchtime plenty of sun just a little bit on the cooler side compared to today the National Weather Service still has some wind advisories in effect for most of mid Michigan those are expiring around dinner time tonight between 4 to 6 o'clock we do have more information about those expiration times based off of what county you're in in the weather alert section of WNEM.com. And that's due to the very strong winds that we're going to have throughout our afternoon. We're talking winds between 20 to 30 miles per hour gusting up to even 40 miles per hour at times, and those temperatures are going to be on the decline as well as that cold front makes its way through. As for tonight, still breezy, gusts up to 20 miles per hour, but because of the absence of clouds, we're talking lows in the low 30s tonight, just below freezing. But over the next seven days, we're looking at that decreasing trend of temperatures. We've got upper 40s tomorrow, mid 40s for the weekend, but still plenty of sun for your afternoon today and for Friday and the weekend. And we've got the time change coming up this weekend as well. Remember to tune into WNEM TV5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.